Hi students, this is your professor, Dr. Mink, and this is a short video to demonstrate the code for tutorial 6.1. I strongly urge you to go through this in the textbook and build this application yourself. This is the first introduction to procedures for this class. So, here I have a form and I have a list box added to the form, list output, and I have two buttons, go and exit. Let's take a look at what code we have associated with the go button. So we have an event handler, a procedure, and I've detailed this in the chapter 6 lecture. We have an event handler for the button go click event and we send text to the list output box, list box, sorry, using list output dot items add and there's literal text hello from the button go click procedure um, second line list output dot items dot add now I'm calling the display message procedure then on line 9 you'll see we call a procedure so flow of control or execution will be passed from the event handler procedure to the display message procedure which starts on line 20 and it simply uh, displays a message in the list box. It outputs a line, an empty line, a new line, if you will. Then it outputs hello from the display message procedure, and then another empty line, and sub, and execution returns back to line 10. And then we go into more items being added to the list box, more text being added to the list box from the button go click procedure. And we have one more procedure you can see here, which is the um, event handler for the exit, button exit, which closes the form. So let me run this. Here we go. Let me move this in a way that we'll be able to see. When I click this go button, we get hello from button go click procedure which comes from line 5 to the left now I'm calling the display message procedure that's calling coming from line 6 uh, then the next thing we see in the output comes from display message let me see if I could get that we get a blank line from line 22 we get hello from display message procedure another blank line that procedure ends execution returns to the calling procedure and we get the last line of text now I'm back in the button go click procedure one last procedure is the exit button exit click handler event handler if I click exit I will close the form. 